Hi, this is Tim. It's Kamala Harris. Good morning, Governor. Good morning, Madam Vice President. Listen, I want you to do this with me. Let's let's do this together. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? I would be honored, Madam Vice President. Uh, the joy that you're bringing back to the country, the enthusiasm that's out there, uh, it will be a privilege to take this with you across the country. Well, let me tell you, I have just the utmost respect for you. I have really enjoyed our work together. You understand our country. Well, you see those maps, red and blue, and there's all that red across there, and Democrats go into depression over it. It's mostly rocks and cows that are in that red area. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. Hello and thanks for watching. You may have heard that Kamala Harris has now chosen her VP. No, it's not Josh Shapiro and I'm guessing she didn't pick him due to the fact that he's Jewish and a majority of the so-called Hamas bloc of the Democrat party do not want a Jewish person. So instead of the far left Jewish man, she instead chose a far left Trojan horse that looks and talks like a folksy middle American farmer named Tim Walls. However, once you start digging, you find that Tim Walls has a lot of far left extremist views that most Americans wouldn't agree with. But of course our media is out there right now removing any doubt that they're nothing more than an extension of the Harris campaign literally busting a nut over this guy. The idea that Tim Walls is some lefty is just not true in reality. He got elected in a district that was very moderate. Walls, of course, was very moderate in Congress. Establishing himself as a moderate Democrat. He had a pretty uh, moderate record, rather moderate uh, Democrat, viewed as a, as a moderate Democrat. He is a centrist. To say that he's uh, more liberal than Vice President Harris or the most liberal congressman, which I'm sure we're going to hear, I'm just not true. In Congress, he was certainly a centrist, but a more centrist, deal-making candidate. Kind of a centrist Midwesterner in persona. A more centrist type who can appeal to suburban voters. We have heard from Democrats who know him who describe him as folksy, as somebody who can reach out to independents. He will uh, be able to pull over some of those uh, more moderate voters. He has a history of appealing to the more rural, moderate voter out there. Uh... Everything that guy just says bullshit. So you just know the media is going to bury all of this stuff, which is exactly why we're going to go over this brutal list of just how awful this guy is. So awful that I already have my spew bucket here ready to go. Ugh, and let me tell you, just thinking about this clip makes me feel ill. And speaking of digestive issues, this is caused by a potential toxin that's in all of our quote healthy foods that so-called scientists have been telling us to eat with our fraudulent food pyramid for decades. This potential toxin causes digestive issues. And according to Dr. Stephen Gundry, who is a world-renowned cardiologist, this is affecting millions of people nationwide. Warning signs include weight gain, fatigue, digestive discomfort, and stiff joints and even skin problems. Well, Dr. Gundry explains that these side effects are often mistaken for normal signs of aging because digestive issues develop usually over a matter of years and sometimes even decades. Quote, I can assure you that this damage is likely caused by healthy foods and it's far from normal. The good news is you and I can easily fix these problems from our own home. You just need to know which foods are healthy and which foods contain these hidden potential toxins. After years of research, Dr. Gundry has decided to release this this informative video to the public for free and uninterrupted showcasing exactly which foods you need to avoid so you can now go and find that information for yourself at gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone that's gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone number one tim wall supported and helped to pass no restrictions on abortion that's right absolutely zero restrictions all laws requiring doctors to treat infants born alive after failed abortions were repealed and then references in the law to women were changed to pregnant people that is weird tim walls was a big proponent of the public schools in minnesota being forced to adopt crt and so-called anti-racist curriculum which as we know now in most cases is incredibly racist towards white people and asians hmm, that's weird that's weird it just fits right into all the orwellian communist actions that Tim Walls has overseen. Walls made driver's license and state-funded health care available for illegal immigrants. He's taking hard-earned American tax dollars and giving it to people whose first action in this country was to break our laws. Weird. 
He's taken resources that were meant for American citizens and given them to people who aren't even supposed to be here, I'm sure because he believes these people are gonna help Democrats retain permanent control. What's even the point of being an American citizen? Thanks to the subversive attacks by walls, not much of one. Now this is where it gets really bad. Both he and Kamala were big supporters of the multi-year insurrection by communist Democrats. And when the mayor of Minneapolis requested National Guard assistance from Governor Tim Walls, he was denied. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry has consistently said what he told us on June 2nd. I will speak the truth. And the truth is that on Wednesday, around 6 p.m., I called the governor and asked for the National Guard. Text messages and emails from the mayor's office for Wednesday, May 27th, back that up. I would say those first days, you know, when there were riots, I could smell the burning tires. And um, that was that was a very real thing. And I kept the windows open for as long as I could because I felt like that was such a touchstone of what was what was happening. That's really weird. They claim that this was all about a racial reckoning. Whatever the hell that is. What's even more crazy is that these riots were most violent in his city of Minneapolis. Kamala promoted bail funds that released actual criminals from jail who went on to harm and kill people. Thanks to Harris's promotion, the group reportedly raised $35 million in just a few weeks. Darnica Floyd, charged with second degree murder for stabbing a friend to death. And she got out of jail too. A twice convicted rapist, currently charged with kidnapping and sexual assault, and he walks out too. The Freedom Fund raked in donations when it was promoted by many, including now Vice President Kamala Harris. Sean Michael Tillman shot and killed a passenger on a train platform after reportedly being released from jail three weeks prior. All thanks to the Minnesota Freedom Fund. Donovan Boone was charged with breaking into the home of an ex-girlfriend and choking her. Freedom Fund bailed him out for 3,000 cash and he hasn't shown up for court since. I often don't even look at a charge specifics when I bail someone out. The Hennepin County attorney called out the Minnesota Freedom Fund for bailing Mosley out of jail twice previously, even though he was arrested for having a gun in the courthouse. The Minnesota Freedom Fund, which pays cash bail for low-income criminals, paid Timms' entire $10,000 bail in cash. 11 days later, police found a man bleeding from the head and ears in this alley. Police were able to arrest Timms in connection to this violent assault. Howard was arrested and charged with second-degree murder. The Minnesota Freedom Fund acknowledged supporting Howard's bail. Really? That's weird. Now, like I said, a bunch of the most violent riots that we experienced during those years occurred in Minneapolis. Minneapolis has a large Somalian population. So like any subversive communist, Walls got rid of their historic flag and replaced it with what looks suspiciously like a Somalian flag. All right, ready. Whoa, wait a minute. There, that's better. This is getting very weird. You just know the squad is gonna love this guy, but most Americans, probably not. Tim Walls was also involved in discharging elderly people with COVID from the hospital into nursing homes where they all died, which ended up being the highest source of death in Minnesota from COVID. Gee, maybe they did that on purpose in order to increase the amount of COVID deaths as a way of undermining Donald Trump. Yeah. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to save democracy. I'm sure that he reflected on this horrifically deadly policy, apologized, and promised to do better. Right? No, you idiot. No. Nope. He doubled down and insisted that it was not a mistake. Of course not. Democrats don't do anything wrong. Everything they do is good by virtue of them being Democrats. Oh yeah. Did I mention that he got tampons put into public school boys bathrooms? This guy is major weird. Tim Walls also made Minneapolis a sanctuary city for harming minors. Quote, seeking gender affirming health care. Where the state literally takes control of children if parents don't go along with this insanity. So-called care that many would see as grooming and abuse, including Europe, which has started banning these procedures for kids, citing a lack of evidence that it's helpful. Who knew that affirming a child's mental delusions could be harmful? Everyone! 
Apparently not Tim Walls, who thinks that a kid can be in the wrong body and change their sex by stopping their normal biological processes using harmful drugs. Well, this just keeps getting weirder. Now, you're also going to be hearing a lot about Tim Walls' military service and not so much about J.D. Vance's, even though he did serve in the Marines. But according to the people who served under him, he's not such a great guy. In a way, he's back again to wage a public war of words against Tim Walls. He, he abandoned us, you know, I mean, what the hell kind of leader does that? I mean, he just, as soon as the shots were fired in Iraq, he turned and ran the other way and hung his hat up and quit. This all starts years earlier, when Barron says Wall's misleading statements about his military service first led him to come forward in the fall of 2018. So you try to get this message out, but Minnesota's largest newspaper checks it out, says it's 100% true, but yet refuses to print. When I hung the phone up, I said, what the hell is this, North Korea? It kind of just sat there, you know, when he was a congressman, he, you know, he bragged that he was, he was a command sergeant, retired command sergeant major, I'm the highest ranking person ever in the in the house and you know all this lie that he was telling why am i not surprised lastly it probably won't surprise you but tim walls is a big supporter of socialism but we can get out there reach out make the case and for one thing don't ever don't ever shy away from our progressive values one person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. Say what? Which might have factored into picking him because a majority of Democrats now support socialism and would support an openly socialist president. It has to be about a goal of saying everybody should end up in the same place. And since we didn't start in the same place, some folks might need more. Equitable distribution. Giving resources based on equity, understanding that we, we fight for equality, but we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. So, uh, communism. All right, folks, that's all I got so far, but there will surely be more coming out in the next few weeks, so keep checking back for more. If you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.